Okay, come out of crypto here with another Bitcoin update. What a heck, huh? What happened yesterday? What a weird price action. How can we make sense of these guys? Indeed, this is this is what happened, right? We have that huge dump followed by this huge rejection, huge uh, um a huge price going up, this huge bump, a huge week, both going down and up. When this happens, I tend to look at the daily chart, right? Why? Because the daily chart is the, the overall picture and it tends to, to uh, of course, as it is a daily chart, it tends to, to take to take a lot of time to change whatever account we are we are uh, proposing okay and the way I'm seeing it the this triple combo it's in play it's everything it's uh, nothing has pretty much changed okay we are in a a we correct the wave B and we are going to correct this wave C okay nothing has pretty much changed even though we have this um, huge week here what we need to do is essentially change the, the place of the B, okay? We surpassed, this is gonna be a flat, okay? If you understand it, because B has, 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 has gone beyond the level of uh, the beginning of A, but at least here, actually it's a double bottom, right? Yes, it's a double bottom, guys. It's a double bottom, so it's a really interesting, really interesting thing. Yeah? If it's a, it's almost a double bottom, right? Let's consider it's a double bottom, and then we are gonna have a C. So when we look at the daily chart, so we don't, we, we are not, we don't get really scared because we try to, to, to challenge the support, and what happened? We, it was defended. We had a re rejection, and we are going up. So uh, <clears throat> that's pretty much the way that I can that I can explain it. Because when we are, when we look at the one hour chart, it's almost impossible to explain it. It's uh, such a weird price action. Okay, um, uh, such a uh, uh, one more piece of information. We had this bottom here that was our first wave. Okay. And the second bottom, it's, which is the double bottom, is way higher in the RSI. You see here, guys, this was the first bottom. The second bottom is higher. So we have a bullish divergence. So another piece of information that gives us confidence that we are going up to put in this wave too. Okay. Um, this is what I'm proposing for this correction. Okay. This whole structure here is going to be wave two correcting this first wave here. Okay, uh, let's jump to the one hour chart. <clears throat> As I have started, I was talking about this huge price action. Uh, it's really difficult to explain it. Okay, it's almost impossible to explain it. Okay, uh, the way that I'm proposing it, it's I don't like it because I'm changing it for what? A wave four here. Okay, this is an A, B, C, D, E, and then we broke out. Okay, broke out of the E. This we would have a triangle for this fourth wave. We would have finished wave B here. Okay, with a double bottom. Okay, almost a double bottom. What is really interesting is that we have uh, a goal target here, minus 33, 60 percent. Okay, we have an algo target. So uh, from this top here, I, I think to this bottom here, pivot bottom here. From this top here to this third third wave here, we have this algo target here. Okay, remember, <clears throat> this was a pivot low because we didn't have this piece of information yesterday, guys. Okay, this was um, this was unknown for us, so we had this pivot here. Okay, so the algos was this was the pivot high. And this was the pivot low. That's why I'm using it. So when when we use the the Fibonacci, we use this pivot high, this pivot low. 
I get my Fibonacci retracement from this top to this bottom here. Okay. And what is interesting, okay, we have failed, not we, but the algos and the people selling failed to get to the 50%, but they nailed the buy, the, the buy target here minus the retracement 60%, which is a, a really interesting case, okay, because it means that people are going to look for a next uh, sell point here, okay, we're going to need to find it, okay, where is the, what is going to be the next uh, 50 percent for the algo targets and another thing to bear in mind is that we don't have a lot of market acceptance okay here you see not not at all price acceptance here so this was really i told you guys yesterday oh this i, I told that if it it was gonna break this line here we wouldn't have a lot of market acceptance and we don't have market acceptance down here okay we don't have it, but for some reason we 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 went to this to this uh, to those targets here, and uh, we went back. Now it, this is what we have. This is so difficult to make sense. If I am going to to uh, talk about it uh, from a uh, Elliott wave perspective, this is a wave one. This is gonna be a wave two, three, four, five. Then we have our targets here. I, I don't. I, I'm not gonna. Um, I I am considering this count as valid, and because we have the daily chart here, showing us that this is possible and it's totally on the table. Okay, and we will have. We, we would have. Um, uh, uh, this target here would change. Okay, this 127 percent. This one here. We need to change it, okay? We need to get get our fib retracement here, our fib extension. I'm sorry. Here, the bottom here, wave A to the top, to this bottom here. Here we would have the nice 100% exactly where we have this 38, 20%, and we would have this uh, 127, 20% here between the 50% of the retracement for our wave 2 and minus 38, 20%, we would have a lower target here, okay? Would mean 6,700, okay? If we get there, guys, if we get there, we have this target here, okay? The 618, 65% would be higher here, and it would have this as our last algo target here, minus 618 here. So we would have plenty of different targets, okay? We would have this box here, you can see here, 6,800, okay? It would have the this target here, 6,700, okay? And this one here, uh, 6,800 6, almost, okay? This thing here is really weird. It's really difficult to make sense of this, guys. If we look at the one hour chart, it's gonna be hell, okay? We're gonna need to... Uh, take a look at the uh, sorry let me, at uh, even if we go to four hours it's a huge week right we don't it's only 12 hours beyond it, that that's not such a, a, a strange movement okay but indeed we can't see a lot of price acceptance here let me take a look at the six hour right Take a look at this. He has a huge week. Doesn't matter where we look at, we see that this is a huge price. This is a. But what is this, guys? This is a, a spinning top? No, this is a really difficult, really difficult. Okay, but if you look at the six-hour chart, we see that this is a bullish. This is a bullish candle, right? Because a huge reaction here. So I am betting, even if if you don't take. Elliott wave into consideration. This is a bullish sign. Okay, this candle here. This is a bullish sign. Okay, let me take this off. This is a bullish sign. Okay, we try to get to this. I'm sorry. We try to get to this to break the support here. Not this one. Sorry. We broke this. We broke the support here. Oh my goodness. Not this. This. This support here. We try to break this support here. We, we touched the bottom of it, see? We broke, we, we got to the Fibonacci target, the algo target, and we react. And now we are, what? 
it's gonna be difficult right it's it's probably going up it's uh, it's uh, th that's the case that I'm making okay and we would have a retracement and we are gonna go up okay where is the market acceptance here guys no market acceptance or so at all okay really low market acceptance that's why I'm saying how can how did it was one guy and a group uh, some algos I don't know okay it's difficult to explain but and um, my count haven't changed okay this is my count a b c putting in the wave two of this whole structure here and this is my weekly chart we are pretty much bearish okay this was the the reaction that we had okay try to break the blue line here and again reacting to it okay as have this has happened a lot of time most of the time right when we most of the time no all the time when we try to break this blue line here and uh yes that's pretty much of it guys so we need to i am counting on this wave c here to start shorting i have my six six seven hundred as my target especially because we have a bullish divergence here and we touched the zero line here at the cmf i, I expect some kind of bump okay perhaps not today perhaps tomorrow but i expect some kind of bump okay um so that's it guys um i think that we had a, a crazy action yesterday and it's always fun to watch it and to be part of it and thanks for watching my video today my update if you guys are if you guys enjoy it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe uh, consider following me on twitter it's always a pleasure to have you guys there and to have if you have a feedback please let me know it's always important to have people looking for you looking to, to to our improvement we are together trying to figure out this thing and th thanks again <laughs> cheers have a wonderful day